Hello, if you own one of these HD6450 cards from AMD or ATI, whichever you prefer, you'll know how good they are. They're not a bad card for the money. I only paid 38 quid for this about six months ago. Well, I was taking my computer apart and it just, you know, just gives a good clean up and what have you. And I just took the card out and I got a bit curious about the heatsink. And I noticed that the heatsink is over the top of the memory chips there. There's 428 meg memory chips underneath the heatsink there. And the heat has been dumped off the core straight onto the memory and making the memory get hot and overheat to an extent. But there is a simple cure for this. And all you do is simply... I've already took this off so this will be quick. Just take the heat sink off. Turn it round and it will fit in that way. If you're not using this card in a um, low profile case, this is ideal. You can fit the heat sink that way, no problem. Then screw it back up. And then turn the memory, you can then fit your own memory sinks onto those. So the core and the memory is completely separated from each other. Um, stops the car from overeating. But when you take this off for the first time, it's got this horrible gunk on there. So you've got to be a little bit careful. There was a bit of, it's like a thermal paste that uh, Asus use all across this area and on the chip itself. Just scrape that off. And uh, I've got some um, Arctic Silver ceramic that I'm going to put on there because that's quite good stuff for graphic cards. You know, it's a tiny blob on there. Um, fit the heat sink back on when you've done. And as I say, the card will look like that when you're finished. You can see that on the camera. And it'll fit into the case like that. Good tip, top tip there for you. And on the other side, there's another four 128 meg um, memory chips. I mean, this card is one gig, one gigabyte DDR3. And it's a damn fine little card. I mean, it's ideal for the casual, you know, the if you want to play the odd basic game or... Um, it's a good multimedia card because it's got a sound card built in, as most of these ATI or AMD cards have. It's got HDMI, DVI and D sub outputs there. And on the HDMI and this, um, I'm, I'm sure there's sound that comes out to this, but I know there's definitely sound that comes out of the HDMI 7.1 channel as well. Um, but like I say, yeah, if you if you do that with your card, you'll make a massive difference to the temperatures. You will drop it down by about 7 or 8 degrees, which is great. And if you want to overclock the card, you can then. If you want to squeeze another um, few uh, megahertz out of it, you can do to gain a bit more performance. Um, okay, I hope you found this useful. And uh, as usual, leave the comments in the comments box and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks.